Hello and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about creating sales orders. So let's jump right in. In Acumatica, you can get to the sales order area, clicking on the work area, sales orders. And then over here, you can click on sales orders and hit the plus new button, to create a new one. Or you have the action card up here for new sales order. Additionally, Acumatica uses sales orders as a means to create multiple types of documents. So just to get started, we have order types. And you could see out of the box, Acumatica has a number of order types. Some of them are not enabled, but you can go into any one of them and click on the active button if you need to. But some of them have a workflow for return processing. Some of them have a workflow to create a quote. So it's important to note that before we create our order, that we understand what we're trying to accomplish there. Now, again, if we click on sales orders, you can see new sales order and you can create it here. But we also have an action button for a new quote. Essentially, that brings us to the order type quote. But let's jump in. We'll create our new sales order. And again, you can see the order type at the top. Order number will be automatically created for us, so that's good. We can pre or post date the order if we want to. Request it on is used for customers that are looking for a specific date that they'd like this order to be delivered that later can help you when you're shipping out your orders. Customer order and external reference. These are fields for typically purchase order or if you're bringing in orders automatically from an external source such as Shopify or BigCommerce, you have the ability to bring that information in and use that as a field. Later search for it. So we'll select our customer. We could type a couple letters to look up the customer. Do that like that. And if any notes are part of that customer, you'll see that here. Or what you could do is you can click on this magnifying glass and search this way. So I can type in a couple letters of the customer's name. You could find it that way. Or simply find it and double click. Keep in mind, at these columns, you can click on them to do filters. So maybe I'm looking for customers with Avenue in their street name. I can click on that and find that easily. Or you can create permanent filters and show them across here. Maybe I only want to see customers from Connecticut, for example. So let's select our customer. Once we do, you can see the different locations here. These are the different shipping address locations that this customer has. Notice the pencil key here. This lets you pop in to the customer and edit the customer profile. Moving ahead, if you use multi-currency in Acumatica, you can choose the different currency based on the customer's preference. And if you're using project accounting, you'll see this project code here. But if you don't use project accounting, you will not see this field. You can give the order a description. And then once you tab out of there, you then get jumped over to the document details. Document details are all the line items for that particular sales order. So our branch, this is a multi-entity company. We have multiple entities for this particular company. So Acumatic is asking us, well, which company are we doing this line in? And it's defaulting to product wholesale because that's what I'm logged into. If you have a single entity or if you're okay with the default, you can configure these columns. Come over here and click this and either move this field down so it's out of the way. You can also click on this tab if you want to remove this from the tab order, meaning when I tab over with my keyboard, maybe I don't want to cycle through that field. So this gives you the flexibility to skip over any fields that are not important. Or again, you could just remove these fields if they're not critical. Now we can type a few letters of the item we're looking for. And Acumatica will do a search for it. Hit enter. And you could tab over, over to your quantity, put a quantity in there, and maybe adjust the price. If the price, you want to adjust it as a salesperson, you could adjust it as low as you want. But if the item is configured with a minimum margin, this is configured at the item level, you'll see a warning here or the item will change based on your preference to a higher price to match that minimum margin. 
we scroll over to the right, you also have the ability to change the discount percent or add a discount amount. Now, this particular customer already gets a discount on this item, which is why we're seeing this discount percentage here. But you can change anything you want, put in 10% if you have the rights. When you're done with this line item, you simply arrow down, and now you have a fresh line to add another item. So that's one way to add an item. You start to type the letters or the numbers. But you can also click the magnifying glass, find the item the same way we found the customer, and type a few letters here. Select the item and continue on. Down arrow to get to the next line. And Control S will save it. The other way we can do it is we can click Add Stock Item. Add Stock Item gives you the ability to see all your items by default that are available. If you're on the phone with the customer, you can certainly take a look at the items that you have on hand. You could filter at the top of the screen. So if I'm looking for something with the word machine in it, I could search for that. And we found a tennis ball machine, injection molding, and a ranger wheel balancing DST2420. The reason that was found is because it has M-A-C-H inside the inventory ID. Over here, you can type in the quantities that you want to add to the order. And you can add them while we can continue to use this as an order guide. Additionally, we have a mode here to sold since. This will show us for this particular customer what they bought, how much they paid, and when they last purchased it. So you can see here, if we're negotiating with a customer and the last unit price, they say, well, I paid 480 last week from somebody else. But you can take a look at that and see that information here. We also have a pricing analysis window. And this allows you to take a look at all your items on the order and set various margins or markups. So for example, you can see here, this is the current item that's in the order, giving us a 12.34% margin with a 14.08% markup percentage but down here we can change it so let's say we're looking for a five percent margin we could tab away and notice acumatica will update the price of that item based on the margin we're looking for we can also click the line pricing ruler which can give us different steps of markup and then based on that we can highlight it and select it click apply Additionally, you can change the starting and the step so that you have more options there. You can also do it by margin. You can also do the whole document. So for example, maybe I'm looking to make on this document a 62% margin. I can highlight that and click apply. And Acumatica will change all of the items to give us that markup. We click apply and it'll change our pricing. Now from this point, I have the ability to print out this order. You can see here the order comes up, Acumatica's built-in report engine that you can use. You can modify these reports any way you want. You can export it to PDF or Excel, or you can email it. Acumatica has an integrated email system Using your email account, you can send this order out to a customer. Notice the customer's email address is selected here along with the subject heading. You can make changes to this if you want to. Or if you modify the report, you can change the template so that it comes up the way you want it to all the time. If I had a signature set up here under my user profile, that signature would show up here on the email. Notice at the top of the screen, there's a file here. That file is a PDF attachment of the order. Looking ahead, you can see a couple other tabs that are of interest. Shipping settings allows us to override the shipping contact or the ship to address. You can change the schedule shipment date. We have shipping rules in Acumatic. If the customer wants only everything completely, you can select ship complete. If they're looking to get what they can and then cancel the remainder because it's a timing issue, 
You can select cancel remainder. Typically, customers like the back order allowed, but that's up to you and your customer. And this all comes from the customer profile. Additionally, you have other options here for the preferred warehouse. That's by the customer. Your delivery method and other shipping items. We click shop for rates here. We can add a package. If we know what the box is. Acumatic has automatic packaging, but, but that might not be suitable for this particular instance. But if we're shipping from the wholesale warehouse and we have a gross weight of one, we click on refresh rates. We can shop for rates inside the sales order, and make that decision with the customer based on the number of days they need the item. Additionally, we can take a payment on this particular order. Click Create Payment. Choose to take a check if we have a deposit. Or we can choose a credit card. If it's a new card, we can check that here. We'll get a PCI compliant credit card screen that'll allow us to enter in the credit card information. You can authorize or capture the credit card. In this case, we're just going to authorize it. And if the authorization goes through, you'll see it here. If you need more additional information, you can open up the payment and go to credit card processing and see why the transaction. And this one, you can see, doesn't allow $121,000. There must be a limit on this account. So that's it. That's how we create a sales order in Acumatica. Look for our other videos on how to do a quick process to get this order all the way through shipping into an invoice if we need to, to release it to the warehouse, create the shipment, and let the warehouse take care of the rest, to handle credit holds. We have videos for all of these. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.